doing guys? Uh, something's different. Trying to catch some meat along the Carolina beaches here. Um, pretty beautiful day. We're gonna fish some mud crabs, some jigs. What are we targeting today, Zane? Today, today. we're gonna try to catch some big ones. And hopefully, if we're lucky, maybe we'll catch a couple of good old big ones. Start with a blue crab. I read keeping them in mud keeps them better. Sawdust. 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 For the mud crabs too? I kept them for two weeks. Muds too? Yeah, mud crabs. Only mud, like that's what I was using. Mud crabs, I took a sawdust. Damn. I dipped the, I took a cup of Dixie cup of salt water, poured it on that sawdust, put the mud crabs in there, they live for two weeks. Good to know. Toad? No, it's not toad. Oh, sheep head. Nah, I'm good. Not a giant, but still a fish we'd like to see out here. I would have waited until we got to the next. Uh... <laughs> Take one of these little, these little guys here. Just put them on this jig. Such. Zane, you crack the shells usually too? Yeah, I normally do, man. Just cut that corner. Just cut that little corner. Something like this. All right. Off to the races here. We got here another sheeper. I think so. It's a ring a ding, I think. Oh man. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. That's these are the That's what I said, we're out here catching big ones. Catching biggins. There is actually like, yeah, you can fillet it like a crappie. It's, it's got more on it than the meets the eye. First stop, Jensen. It's not too bad. It was a first uh, stop. This one's been uh, smashed into structure quite a few times. You see that? It's pretty cool. This is what I like to consider like first wave sheep's head. These little three to four pounders. First spot wasn't too bad. Caught a couple sheep said I think like four and some of those big uh, ring tails. Now we're uh, poking around a little further down the beach. Wind laid down, so hopefully we could do big biggins, the real biggins. All right, bluefish invasion. Here we go. This is what I saw, Scott. Pierre, let me reach in, get a metal lure. Something less bluefishy. Black sea bass. Oh, ho. Bonito. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody net this thing or something. It's a big bonito. It's a big bonito. Damn, son. Look at that thing. Woo! That's all bonito out there. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, we gotta go get those. We gotta get what some. What is up with this net? Oh, no. What is up with this net? Holy big bonito. Damn, I should have set the hook on my fish. I thought I had a dink blue fish, and I was just like, whatever. All right, we're clear. That's a Piero stud. Holy so. <laughs> shit. That's a stud. That's a big boy. That is a stud. And now we you know what we're doing out here. Catching big old bonita. Damn, dude. Stud. Oh, I'm 
small, small, so I hadn't seen that hook yet. <laughs> <Stunned>. <laughs> that is the Ooh. biggest bait I've ever seen. I don't think I've ever caught one that big. That is the biggest. Right. That is a tank, dude. Oh my Jesus. Largest Atlantic bait I've ever seen. Look at that. Sick mm -hmm. fish, dude. Alright, we gotta get a couple more. Let's go get some more, dude. Dang. Yeah. See, these right here is biggest. And you can tell by the vertical, you can tell by the horizontal straight lines versus the splotches. Those aren't so good old biggins, but these are Atlantic Benito. Good old biggins. <laughs> the first one you caught on spinning? Nah, nah, uh, I caught a couple. Nah, y'all caught them trolling last year. Nah, I caught one on uh, late, real late. That's right. You caught a jig there? Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> Still bigger than the usual one. Look at that mouth, though. Oh, owners! Oh, a little tiny jig, dude. Trying to run you out of here, though. All right, got a little surprise Benito showing. I donated, but uh, Zane got a nice one. Pierre got two. But uh, we're going to hit another piece of structure right now. See if we can grab a couple more uh, interesting fish off that. See what's there. This is like, uh, you know, feeling it all out. Maybe? Uh, ooh, she's here. She's here. Nice dark one, yeah. I see a lot of small sheep out of the last. Let me tell you. That's illegal. illegal. <laughs> Over the rail and into the pal. Fish in the winter? Ooh, that was. I had uh, something on there, too, though. It's probably, yeah, fishing in the winter is definitely. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was an extra pump there. Oh, that's a toad. Ooh. <laughs> it was a sheep's head toad. Hey, man, that's a fierce three. It's even better. What you don't even let him go. <laughs> oh, ho, that's a real fish. I like it. Black trump. Nice black trump. I think so. Oh my god. Donkey. Donkey. I'll get you a picture of that one. Woo -hoo, that's a nice one, sir. That's a real one right there. Pretty sheep. Woo -hoo. Wait, how close to 10? You got a scale? I think that's an 8. eight? I'm going to go with an 8 on that one. Mouth looks like a, a 10. Mouth looks like the head of the face. Look at him. Good job, dude. That's a nice fish. Let that one go. Oh, that's a pretty one. Good for you. Bye bye. Come on, buddy. Sorry, sorry. It's a nice one. He's gonna go. Nice. That water's cold. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? He's on the way up to New Jersey, right? Eh? Yeah, Virginia. I go well. No, I think well, that, that was big. Five, six. Still a nice one. Looking at that one. Still, still a great above. I can put this one back too. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, that. Are you serious? That's one of the ones. Ooh, 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 Oh my god, the biggest tog, dude. You gotta give it another minute, fellas. Right, right. Ooh, that's a nice tog. <laughs> yes, dude. <laughs> Boom, shagalogs. Joking around how like we didn't get a, it's one of our biggest tog from this area. 
Uh oh, yeah. damn. Another bubble. Oh, there we are. Damn. Right there, bus. Oh, Spanish. Oh! I knew it! I knew I saw a Spanish, and you guys call it both. <laughs> I know it's a nice one. Should I gas it? <laughs> That'll end the trip. There we go. All right. Damn. 29 Sir. incher. Damn. 58 degree water. 59. What do you need? A hoagie? Poxy jig? Tiny hoagie. Yeah. Poxy thing. Thing throw. Looks like a king from here. Spanish mackerel, big one. I told you I saw some at the top, and then I just saw the bird dive a couple times. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to throw this jig out here real quick. All right, guys. Uh, well, we went back to where we caught Benito earlier. It's a little slow, hectic. It's, I got schooled on that. Zane got a nice one. That's probably one of the largest Benito I've seen, and uh, Pierre got two also. So, good day of sheep's head fishing. I'd say that was pretty good for this time of year. Yeah, so. yeah for this time of year, it was pretty good. Some nicer sized fish at the end there, and uh, a lot of little bluefish. So, standard spring day. We, we thought we'd see some drum, but not this time. So, uh, I'll have links in the video description, everything we used. If you want to book a trip, I'll put uh, Zane's. Information. Fallingtodfishingadventures.com. Yeah, I'll put a link to his website. He likes to do a lot of this bottom fishing, similar to what I like to do. Still pretty good for uh, early April, something different. Catch you guys later. Thanks.